to another side up here. This is Bell Road and 59th Avenue. Um, I don't know if we can see anything ghetto here or not. So it might be a rhetorical no, but you never know. This is like some of the older section. Here's the Bolero. You know, bowling alleys, sometimes they got some junk. But some of them, we'll put some money into them over the years. Let's go check this one out. What do they got up here? Is that train units? Yeah. You know, I've worked on these type of units before, but can't put my finger on what they are right now. Oh, is the panel open on that one? <laughs> Nah, it's just got, it's just the way the, the wire cover is. Controls over here. What are these? Oh, here we go. got paint <laughs> right over this section. Of course, they named it. It's been a long time since I've seen this style of unit. I know I've worked on them before. This type of unit. Can't think of what it is. I mean, that kind of bracketry right there almost looks like Goodman. <laughs> The uh, guards over the coil, but it's not. Can we get an angle to where I can read that? It's not old, tra old, old train GE, is it? What do we see there? Is it General Electric? I don't have my reading glasses in this vehicle to uh, read the screen better. Uh, I do believe those are General Electrics. Of course, playing us back during edit, it'll be on big 4K monitors. I'll be like, yeah, it's General Electric or whatever it was. I do think that's what it says. Can you read that? What does that say? Does that say General Electric? Does it look like General on the left side of that tag? Can't see it. I'm trying to get the angle. Oh, it is General Electric. These are before they became train. Old GE units. Oh, <laughs> these are probably. Early 90s, maybe even 1980s units. Most of these units, wow, have not been replaced. Wow, this is a good, nice find. More old GE units. Now, these ones I recognize from these, what used to have over at the uh, what's the bowling alley I like that's down by where we live. Uh, no, the other Glen one, the old Fair one. Lane. Glen Fairlane's had all the, a lot of these old GE trains there. Uh, that old uh, Universal Artists or United Artists Theater in Scottsdale had a bunch of these. They used to have those 1600 RPM small, you know, diameter fan motors in there. And then people put 1075s without changing the blade and starved the airflow. Yeah, so right here, it looks like we got nice detail of the sticker and it definitely says what General Electric let me get a little squared off this might make a good thumbnail you know what these are old units but guess what they're still ticking I bet you the, the major problems here are gonna be the wires rotting old rotted wires but other than that these compressors are probably still ticking. I don't know how many have been replaced, but you know, these units were tough as nails. Oh man, this is a nice find. After all, I'm glad we came here. More of them. So it looks like. I don't think any of these units have been replaced with anything else. Uh, here we go. Is that carrier? 
there's a carrier there on the curb carrier or similar uh, what X vein fan this is oh this so this is not gonna be a carrier this is, it is a carrier but it's not a carrier this is a Bryant or ICP or something so instead of calling it eco blue they call it X vein all right wow I'm seeing something else I haven't noticed before okay ICP yep ICP brand so it's similar to, to a carrier pretty much I don't know how they do it license it or if they build it and it just goes off another assembly line or what totally different distributors everything else but uh yeah huh I think that's the first time I've seen an ICP with uh, essentially the Eco Blue fan inside. They call it X Vane. <laughs> Didn't know that. So that unit's newer. That's another old train GE unit. And then here's another one. Oh, oh somebody actually really downsized. <laughs> that was another pretty big unit right there. Are both of these on curb adapters like that? Nope. Maybe uh, maybe uh, they they separated the zoning inside and then into two smaller units. Cause saying because this unit would be a lot smaller than what used to be in this footprint. But it looks like they probably just re changed the drops. Uh, it's like a ten tonner right here. Recognize it's a single fan. Yeah, might this might still be an uh, belt drive ICP again. Yep similar unit. It's probably like a 10 tenner. Get the model there. I'll see it on the screen. So this there's we got some wind. So this thing isn't quite as stable as normal. And also I noticed before I relaunched it just now that there's a crack in the blade. I went through a little some tree branches at the yard in the yard yesterday messing with the dog making the dog chase it and it chopped some leaves off the tree and the drone just kept on flying but i do see there's a chip in there so wow okay so that about does it for this building looks like uh, the main areas are all done by the larger ge units probably for the train have we ever went to this, um, this oh yeah i bolt here yep really so i don't remember it yep which one is this this is but Bolero, but it used to be called. It was, I think, an AMF maybe. But Bolero owns AMF, and it owns a lot Does of things. Yeah. So that's confusing. So let's check out the next store place. What is this? Is it Walmart or something? Let's speed it up a little bit. Get over here. See, own, see if we got any ghetto. Let's slow down. Yeah, I might own AMF. I think they might also like own. Yeah. Um, oh, the one man, that's look that surprised of town. Couple ones. Nothing like reaching up high. That big, tall curb adapters. Those always suck because it's like your your head high just to see the compressor, you know, and almost need a ladder to change air filters, stuff like that. Air filter panels way up there. Yeah, this is why I came over when I was driving by. I saw these old lat. When you see these old ladders like this, I'm like, oh, this might be some old nifty buildings. Go check out. So we got here some Yorks and stuff like that, I believe. Yep. Alright. Go check out this other building where we've got the same battery going on. These might be Linux. Remember I was talking about earlier how the economizer's on the back side instead of the instead of the uh, short side or whatever you want to call it. And they are Linux units. L series. I used to always like these with all the hinged panels and stuff. It's kind of funny. When people order Linux, they're more likely to go for the hinged doors and whatnot. But they hardly ever do that on carrier units. I don't know what it is. Even though they do have the hinged panels you could get, just they seem to not opt for that. Another rooftop. Let's see if we see any of it. It looks like some square York units, I'm guessing. Oh, what do you got here? These some older units here. Slab coil units. What do we got? Uh, these old, uh, how do you tell? Are these carrier P pumps, maybe? Or, no, 
Oh, they see QQYQs. I think they have an L-shaped coil. Oh, I see what those are. Those could be a lot of different things. I see it's GE. Nope, nope. It's the fan be on top. Let's see. What are these? Can't tell if they're... Oh, they've got louvers on the side. Stick, no stickers at all on these. And I know I've worked on these kind of units. All right, let's pause this video for a second. I'm gonna open an old folder of HVAC pictures. And this section of photos is from 2005. And right here, I used to work on a lot of old buildings in Phoenix. So back in 2005, these units were old and decrepit. Now I think I see Perhaps a unit here that might be that unit. Tell me what you guys think. Let's move that out of the way. Let's open the photo over here. There we go. Let's take a look at some of these. Uh, I think the next one might be right here. So take a look at this. Tell me if you think these might be similar. You see right here is the outdoor coil, and you have a little bit of area, and then it turns. It's got another panel. Got your divider right here, and then you have the blower right here. And if you look over at this unit, <laughs> you see coil right here, little panel, makes the turn, panel for the controls, blower, and then here's your supply right there. So yeah, old, very old unit. Wow, I can almost read. Somebody tried to write the model number right here. I mean, this unit was old back in 2005. So it's probably from the 80s. Can't quite make that out. That's a prospect. Now, in the same folder, let me open another old unit, which also looks like it's very similar to that. Coil goes all the way. It's got the compressor here, though, instead of controls, and then your little blower section looks like right there. You can see there's the refrigerant connections. There's another angle right there and another unit. So let's back this one up. Got that side. Bring my picture back up. Now that. Oh, here's the control section. Could just be, could be the same brand unit as the first one, but just different uh, size. Or now this is not an old carrier unit. I'm trying to think of what it was. What do you guys think of mana? Maybe with this color. But this also looks uh, like a prospect <laughs> to what that is. You look right here, see this unit here. Oh, look at this. Sticker was down here. One here or something. Looks like it's covered up. This patch here definitely looks to be a lot like that patch there. It looked like it had something here and something here. Hmm. Yeah, I think I think the second one. Let me know what you guys think. Is it really old carrier units? Could be the old yellow ones. Could like you know back in the day of the YQ QQs or even older. And some old units. Big duct connections right there. Looks like some York or something right there. More old units. Goodman, I think. <laughs> yeah. Could be a man of style Goodman, maybe right there. That almost looks like a ream, almost, but could be IC, old ICP Tepstar grill style right there. Let's see, I got some past all this. Antennas and stuff right here. Yeah. Looks like residential style temp stars or something. I don't see any like ghetto ghetto stuff yet. There's some old stuff on some of these buildings over here. Stuff that's still running though. Oh, this is just a outdoor recreational place. What are we we buy like a daycare or something? I'm guessing this is a daycare. Speed it up a little bit here. Yeah. What do they got up here? Is this a lot older than I thought it would be? 
Uh, it looks like Aeon. Probably. Is that Aeon Unis or old Linux? Like, Yorks. York. Man, getting rusty, guys. Okay. More old units over here. So old. Some commercial Yorks. Yep. Some big ones. Over there, probably sanctuary halves. Yeah. All right, so nothing, nothing ghetto there. Oh, we're on battery, 39%. Get a couple more of the strip mall sections over here. Looks like glorified residential over here. it looks like or something like that yep you're spoiling your um <laughs> what fans maybe why are you saying that today because you're, oh, you're doing several ones well actually i'm not doing that the problem is i've been slacking on this stuff we've been waiting for you know ghetto rooftop stuff like that and we'll just start hitting a little more of just interesting areas just to look at check it out and then if we see anything you know ghetto whatever it'll just be you know a bonus so all right well i see a unit right here looks like the panels might be off that's makayos yeah but what's this what's going on right here looks like someone lost some, a panel to that unit is that a reefer rack unit <laughs> yep Is there a panel missing, or is that just able to be? Out? I don't know. I'm guessing there's a panel missing. So, looks like reefer rack. Yeah, because it looks like something's yeah. supposed to be there. It's probably the other you know, more compressors underneath those other, other sections. It's, Maybe they took it off, forgot to put it back on. Well, yeah, but then the wind takes it. <laughs> it doesn't look like anything that it's going to just quit working. So, I got some train Voyager units. Got a water heater. Uh, is that an evap cooler or something? Probably for underneath that brick and everything there. Maybe, f or something down there. Or is that a boiler? Oh, yeah, I can see that. that, that. So, oh, I bet you there used to be two boilers. And the one failed and they put just a water heater there. Is that electric? That's funny. It's a big gas boiler and then electric water heater, it looks like. Huh. Funny. Just the way they had to do, huh? And then he's got some more teams back there. Is that train president? Yeah. American Standard. Same thing. EVAP cooler. That's yeah, probably for makeup air. Old gas back train. <laughs> 28%. So we got just a few minutes left for this thing to start howling at us. I hate that beep. So, York. Goodman, <laughs> and it's got the Daikin badge on it. But, you know, one of the, more more of the units with the motor bracket plates guaranteed to break. Capped off sections. What are they doing? Took out some units or what? In residential, you know, style ones. Uh, I think we already got that area. Steinmart uh, explains what that larger areas behind the bowling alley over there all right so yeah all right well i kind of looked over this aircraft area. battery at 24 percent kind of looked over this area for a while thinking everything is going to be just a little too good filiberto's even got some good units there yeah but they're food and all that i actually like that no it's another yeah, more. Oh, no, no. Trade president and yeah, Goodman for their big unit. They went cheap. They went cheap on the big ones. Probably for the kitchen. Poor guys. Probably suffer a lot of failure. That that makes uh, sense because yeah. no one goes in their drive through Yep. All right. Well, Rarely ever. Let's whip out over here on the way out. It's going to beep in one more percent. So. All right, we're still here at 59th Avenue and Bell, getting the other side. Let's see what we've got over here. So it looks like 
must be an old tire shop or something. It's closed down. Why don't you evap close the panels off? Either winterized or just abandoned and the panels have just fallen off. Don't look like all the panels are up there, so. <laughs> yep, so much for that. Oh, so there's some right there. These are uh, what I call the eight sided coolers. <laughs> It's four sides, but it's got two panels per side that you have to just get those stupid wire hooks out to get the, you know, retainer brackets off. And then, uh, you know, if they don't change their pads every year, those things would turn into concrete, basically, with all the hardened minerals. You have to pound them with a hammer or whatnot. So, somebody might have actually done a shutdown because these actually look like the pads have been taken out. And uh, sumps look actually kind of clean. Some people will do that. They'll like clean the sumps completely before it gets all hard at shutdown. That way when you come to do your startup, especially if it gets a little late in the year before you're, you get dispatched out to do it, last thing you want to do is work on coolers, which are just all physical, you know, work. Uh, you don't want to have to do all that scrubbing, especially when it's <laughs> solidified over the winter. So you want to just put pads in, put the panels on, oil the bearings set the float, place the float hopefully, belt, all that stuff, and start them up. So, somebody, uh, other than the, those panels are just kind of left wherever, maybe the winds rearranged them, but these almost look like they were shut down. And then we get the other sides and see if the belts are, are removed by any chance. Some people don't remove the belts, because sometimes they'll say, they'll say, hey, do you want me to leave the old belts on? That way you can at least run the vent mode. You know, for the rest of the year, and just in case you get kind of a warmer day, and some places choose to do that. Oh man, look at that skylight broke loose. It's got the anti theft bars down in there, or slash safety cage, which you appreciate because you ever trip and fall on a skylight, fall right through this old brittle tops, <laughs> you can fall to your death if they don't have the safety bars. So that's nice. So that's probably getting rain down in there. Here's your roof access uh, they didn't cut the ladder off that's good just got a lock box so I wanted to see here up oh, belts on and that belts are on so they probably were able to run in vent mode now also here is a refrigeration truck <laughs> so I thought maybe just maybe maybe somebody's up on the roof working you can get featured in the video <laughs> I mean not too closely but just be interesting to see somebody up there working so this i don't think we did this rooftop again even with my daughter we, we talk about it, it's like things start looking familiar after a while but i think it's just you start getting a like rooftop so these uh what do they got back here so, i swear we did a wind car already these might have air handlers inside i don't remember which wind coat it was yeah this is a wind might not have been this one coat might have been a different one. Oh, oh did we here. do food city that might be what i was saying if you look at cooling towers instead of one big fan yeah like four of them well, one missing maybe that's what's being serviced <laughs> oh, there's a ladder right there hey is that is that what's being repaired so we got oh, we get too too close I'm when I zoom in I'm a lot further away than it looks like but I don't want to spook the guy up what do you got here? Maybe some VFD panels or something. I'm already zoomed in. I'm gonna get a new drone that has like way more zoom. Got some like three or four times optical zoom before you get another digital zoom. What brand is this? Oh, SP All Recalls. SPX. Oh, someone's probably working on them because they got the control panels open. And I doubt these is blue open, they're both open, so. Oh, there's a fan blade on the ground. <laughs> so that's probably what the service truck's here for, refrigeration. Uh, is that racks? Am I, I think, am I wrong? I mean, I got glare. Hold on a second, guys. I got to go to the menu and see if it dimmed. Nope, brightness is on full. Dang it. External belt drive fans. So there's two on that side. Is there two on this side, or is there like a link between them? Nope, Okay. Those are actually not direct drive. Those are belt drive fans. 
okay. Like I often see on cooling towers. <laughs> So the center section will be some sort of heat exchanger, trying to tell if it's water or if it's direct air. God, there's so much glare on my tablet right now, guys. I cannot see the make out in detail what the bottom section is, if it's just open, you know, because it's just direct exchangers for a reefer <laughs> or if it's an actual water cooler. Well, we'd have pumps and stuff up here, so I don't really see that. And we, well, oh, there is water treatment. That was the next thing I was going to say for the clue is we'd have water treatment. There's water treatment. So they are cooling towers. So my initial assumption is correct. All right. So they are cooling towers. Right, one motor run at a time. The other one's just wicking backwards. Is that what I'm seeing? Yeah. High static blades it almost looks like. So there's higher RPM, smaller diameter fans. I'm not as familiar with these. I've probably only seen these type of towers maybe once or twice, if I can recall that exact model. So not stuff that uh, I was doing. But it's probably what the reefer tech is working on. Oh, I do want to go out back. Let's speed this up. Use the whole battery on just this one place. I want to see what they got. That cannot be what's cool in the whole place. It might be. It's probably just uh, there's a bunch of water source heat pumps in there or a chiller inside somewhere. Another clue for where mechanical rooms are is if you see flue pipes, if they have boilers. So, let's see. Almost seems like deja vu, like I was on a place like this before in an earlier episode, but I don't think so. I do not think I've come up to here, the Bell on 59th. So another building over here. I don't know if it's still part of them. Just got some package units up here. Kind of speed it up for the not so interesting repetitious stuff. Yeah. Some carrier units it looks like. Yep. 20 tenors and whatnot. Like train, maybe or something. Nope. Wait, is it? Yeah, Voyagers over here. And it's not a train, but like uh, Yorks or something. Or Lennox. Lennox. Again, it's got the economizer on the backside. Up, uh, it comes to train. It comes to cart machine again. Holy hell, like I just chucked that in there. <laughs> I wish I could have filmed that. The cart return guy, what he just did here in front of me. Right, so. Nice Linux units over here. Alright, let's kick this thing up. Let's see where we at. Strip mall stuff. Nothing's really abandoned over here. So I'll kind of do a little faster medium speed here. A bunch of glorified residential units. Coolers, probably for makeup air. It's a carrier. Must be a restaurant. Three coolers. Exhaust fan. It's an old AC unit. It's going to be some sort of probably a Chinese restaurant or something, you know. <laughs> Whatever that is. Tell you, okay. It kind of is. What do we got over here? Oh. Old. Old carrier RTUs. Oh, yeah. Old commercial ones with the, with the fans at the angle like that. Yeah, these weren't my favorite units to work on. You used to have to take that one cover. That's a left cover uh, next to the in fresh air intake. You used to have to take it off. And then there would be another cover to take off just to get to the filters, whatnot, uh, blower drives on the other side, got some old coolers or whatnot, some abandoned stuff, looks like it's missing some compressors or something, I'll read low temp stuff right there, and yep, oh, look at those old exhaust fans, man, this stuff's been worked, man, this is like, you're talking 80s and 90s equipment right here, oh yeah, let's 
that old green carrier i mean that's how old those are wow yeah those are probably original to that strip mall all the uh, green carrier units right there they got a newer brown one brown again we got glare sometimes looks to be seen Probably just gray looking brown to me right here. Is that a carrier? No, oh, red. This is, uh, I'm already zoomed in. This is some of the license stuff that fits on like carrier footprints. <laughs> kind of interesting. Yep. And it's got that, yep, supply return. L-shaped duct underneath carrier style and that was already that's funny because that's actually not replacing like for like footprint they've actually replaced one of these big old square carriers so interesting that they put a curb adapter drops and then did a carrier style but not a carrier unit <laughs> funny so what else we got well we're still on the same battery here Carrier RTUs. Oh, we got one over here, maybe in the captured. What do we got there? What? Oh, it's dumpster. Thought I was looking at a rooftop. That glare is getting me, guys. What's that goofy girl doing? Yeah, over here, what, we got some Yorks or something. Looks like. Or is it Lennox? Is that a base? Do you hear that? Yep. Oh yeah, Yorks. Okay, what we got over here? Some carriers, it looks like. Man. El Pollo Loco. Chiclon. Voyager Presidences, I think. side of the president's units. Okay. Are you serious the internet went out again? Oh no. Is your life over? Yes, yeah, because I'm trying to do school at this time. Don't be doing that on your phone. I ain't doing my phone. I do something on my phone. Oh, yeah, I can't tell. It's just like a green hack or something. Too much glare, guys, but we'll see that when I look on the big screen. 30 something percent battery left so we can see a little more buildings over here and then a commercial strip section here Dutch Brothers or something looks like a carrier do a flyover I probably got not much for equipment other than just cooling and I'm in kitchen and bay oh missing a panel Falling off. Oh, ream unit. Double fan coil ream unit. Oh, man. Problem with those old ream bastards is they keep running. And you usually just fix a leak if you fix a leak or just fan motors mostly. And they just keep running. What? What? Oh, Bryant unit. Train. Oh, look at this ream unit. It's also got the top section jacked up. Oh, missing a panel there. So that means. Those controls are probably exposed, maybe. Does it look like it? Yep. It's got a panel over a panel, so. Might be looking out. Yep. Oh, a Goodman unit. Ugh. Every rooftop's gotta be desecrated. Back to Winco. Oh, we're still on the north side of the road. Let's see. Anything juicy here? A little bit of remaining battery before we have to fly back. Let's just see if we see any dare. Uh, <laughs> see if we see anything ghetto. Warning: <laughs> Aircraft battery at 24 percent. 
<laughs> I took curb adapters. <laughs> but nothing much to see here. Oh, here comes the wind. I started saying the other video. I got a lot of wind here and there in the uh, re previous recording I made. This is weird. Being that we're just parked outside. Aircraft requesting nope. go home. No. Uh, just trying to see what that was. Cooling towers and a bunch of solar panels. So, well, that'll do it for that. I'm gonna edit out the beeps. Can't. All right, with that, we'll catch you guys later. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Catch you later.